Today we have all the technologies that we need to meet the 2050 uh, CO2 emission targets with existing technologies. Switzerland has a lot of renewable energy potentials. Uh, you can have solar. We also have the wind because we have a lot of mountains. So there is the Alps, there is the uh, Jura. So both of these uh, mountains are going to provide strong winds in certain regions of Switzerland. And additionally, we also have geothermal potentials like uh, a lot of countries around Europe. Science is here to push the envelope even further to still improve those technologies that are already available today. So more efficient cars, more efficient solar panels, all the devices that convert primary energy. So that's where science is going to be useful, but all the technologies that we need are already commercial today. Most people, and you might see a beautiful lake here, I have professional deformation. I see a huge potential for energy here. We nearby EPFL here, which has been heated for 20 years now using the energy of the lake. In Switzerland, the, we are not using to the full capacity uh, the potential that is available. We are not using enough of the solar potential, the geothermal potential and the wind potential. In the project that we are working on, we have uh, focused mostly on these three different energy sources uh, in order to be able to complement uh, the existing, already existing hydroelectricity potential. There is about two million buildings in Switzerland and uh, you, we analyzed uh, what would be the potential if we integrated uh, solar photovoltaic panels on each of these building rooftops. Additionally, we uh, also analyze what would be the wind potential if we uh, are in rural areas and also in urban areas. Finally, we also looked at the geothermal potential, very shallow geothermal potential. So what we did discover is that in Switzerland, uh, the solar potential, if we covered all the building uh, rooftops with uh, solar photovoltaic panels, we would be able to reach about 25% of the energy production. In terms of gains for, from the renewable energy potential, we will be able to provide a significant portion of the energy production in the future, about 50% of the energy production based only on renewable energies. So this means that the other 50%, we will have to focus on how we build better urban areas and also buildings in order to decrease the energy efficiency and also to look at how the climate change is going to impact the energy consumption of the buildings. So our goal is obviously to be able to integrate as much renewable energies as possible in order to satisfy the demand that we will have in now and also in the future. But also we have to look at ways and methodologies and strategies in which we are going to design our urban spaces. And then I can try to minimize that in order to give me the, the demand. That's why we do the... But it's a very simple optimization. Yeah. We want to combine this photovoltaic demand that we have um, with the electricity de photovoltaic potential, with the electricity demand, um, and also with other renewable energies, for example wind, and later maybe if you go to heat, also geothermal energy, um, to see how they can all fit together. When we design energy systems and when we are also building urban spaces and uh, buildings, we are designing them for 30, 40, 100 years. So what this means is that because 2050 is tomorrow, we have to design the buildings already now so that they are carbon neutral and energy efficient for the future. If a citizen chooses to replace its good old oil boiler by the good old oil boiler, that's a good old oil boiler that's here for another 15 years. We should avoid that. We should get rid of the, the vehicle that are the, the most em emitters of CO2. We should get rid of the worst buildings. We should get rid of the worst devices or light bulbs that consume or are the, less, the least efficient. So it's always a game between uh, avoiding the worst, so making sure that the worst solutions get out of the game as fast as possible, but at the same time make sure that the citizens are incentivized to choose the best options.